Hi, this is Diane, Love to Bake. And what we're going to make are applesauce raisin cookies. Somebody wrote to me and said that they were really interested in trying this recipe. So I was actually talking to a family member and she pulled this out of her little cookbook. Uh, and it is a really good tasting cookie. So let's get started. First, we're going to start off with three quarters of a cup of shortening. Now, if you don't like working with bake, uh, with shortening, uh, baking with shortening, or you can't purchase it or whatever, maybe this recipe isn't um, for you. I do have other um, cookies on my channel. In fact, over 500 to you know, and uh, but this particular cookie, um, she tells me. The reason they come out, the, uh, the texture of them comes out um, so well is due to that shortening. So I've never tried the recipe with butter. Uh, I've only uh, tried it with the uh, shortening as we're doing right now. Well anyway, I'm going to break that up and cream it in my stand-up mixer. You can use your hand mixer if you want. Once you break that up, you're going to be using one cup of brown sugar, and then I'm just going to cream that together. I'm going to raise the sound a little bit, so I want to warn you. Okay. We're also going to be uh, putting in one egg that's been at room temperature, and you want to beat them till they're everything's till it's smooth. And I just want to get in there in my spatula to scrape the sides and get to the bottom because it tends to stick on my paddle. Oh. Okay, this is when you, you put your applesauce in, and it's a half a cup. I'm uh, using unsweetened uh, applesauce. You can go ahead and just use the regular one with sugar. That's going to be up to you, um, but I'm using the um, unsweetened for this recipe. And again, just beat it till it's smooth. shouldn't take you very long at all. I'm moving it along due to the uh, to, due to the video. Next, we need to work on our dry ingredients. So you're going to use two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. You're going to be putting in a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of cloves. Now, if you don't like cloves, you don't like the taste of them, leave them out. Just add another quarter teaspoon to your cinnamon. In other words, if you leave out the cloves, put one teaspoon of a cinnamon in, uh, instead, okay? And then I'm just going to take a spoon and um, just stir this up a little bit. And then I'm going to slowly add the dry to the wet and then add raisins, but we'll first start to get a little of this flour in here, of this dry mixture. And we want to do it on low, so flour doesn't go all over the kitchen. you're going to be putting in, of course, are your raisins, and you're going to need one cup. I'm using the dark raisins. Uh, if you like the golden raisins, you could use those too, and you can fold them in too. If you're worried about the uh, paddle breaking them up or whatever, uh, you can fold them in by hand, but um, I'm just going to quickly um, mix them in. You will 
need a greased or parchment paper um, on your, um, your cookie sheet or pan. And I'm just going to take the paddle off here and take off a little bit of my excess here. And we'll set that aside. And I just want to give it a good once over here to make sure the sides and the bottom and everything is combined. And I like to show you the cookie uh, dough, I should say. Okay, and that's what it looks like. And I'm using my small scoop. You, they will spread out a little bit, so you want to, you know, keep them about an inch and a half or two inches apart. Now you're going to bake these uh, at 375 degrees, and they're going to take you anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes. But I like starting to watch mine around, well, about actually eight, eight minutes because we realize uh, that all of them set up so differently and you don't want to, um, you know, burn them. Now, once they come out of the oven, then, of course, you're going to take them off and put them on a cooling rack till you're ready to uh, serve them or store them or whatever. Uh, but again, uh, 375 uh, for baking. Now, I get 31 cookies using this scoop. 31 cookies, okay? I'm going to rinse my hands quickly here. And then I'd like to show you what the cookies look like once they're baked up. And this is how they will turn out. Uh, they come out just a, a beautiful golden brown on the bottom as well as the top. You can see those nice raisins uh, coming to the top of, of, of the cookie. Um, to describe the cookie, um, it has a firm bottom to it as well as the top. When you break it open though, now you have a very moist, chewy cookie. And then you can see all those nice raisins inside of it. And it, it just smells so nice. The whole kitchen when the uh, applesauce is, is baking with the cinnamon and, and cloves, um, they really are a very easy uh, cookie to make, but a great tasting one. Well, that's it for me today. I want to thank you for watching Diane Love to Bake. If you try this cookie recipe and you like it, we'll leave a comment because I'd like to hear from you. And uh, if you do like it, well, please give me a like. I'd appreciate it. And any consideration in uh, uh, subscribing, well, that would be just fantastic. Uh, once again, thank you for watching Diane Love to Bake, and I'll see you soon.